This is me training my brain. Let me explain. Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome back to the Science of Self-Care. Today, I wanna to talk about how I've been training my brain for relaxation using music. I think most of us know that relaxation is really good for our mental and physical health and that stress is really bad for our health. But what is relaxation? How do we measure this? What does it mean scientifically? Neurologically speaking, we can measure relaxation based on the electrical activity in our brain. And different pulses of electrical activity in our brain are actually what we call brain waves. So brain waves are literally just different patterns and frequencies of electricity being fired by our neurons. Super cool. And interestingly, the slower pattern of electrical firing is typically associated to a sleeping state, and the faster patterns of electrical firing in our brain are typically associated with waking states. So delta and theta waves are the slower waves we experience, and delta waves are what we experience when we are in deep, deep, dreamless sleep. Theta waves are a bit faster, and that is our dreaming, sleeping mind. When we move even faster, we get into alpha and beta waves, and beta waves are the faster of the two, and these are the waves you and I are experiencing right now. As I'm talking and you're listening, our brains are in a beta brainwave state. It's our thinking, doing, living in the world brain state. But below beta waves, we have a slower alpha wave state. And this is the brain wave state I wanna talk about today because being in an alpha brain wave state is associated with a lot of health benefits. Specifically, being in an alpha wave state is associated to a reduction in stress, a reduction in depressive symptoms, and an increase in creativity. And this is the brain wave state we inhabit when we are meditating or deeply daydreaming or deeply, deeply relaxed. And I think these are a lot of the health benefits that people are after when they embark on a meditation or mindfulness journey. And I myself have been on a journey to discover different ways to enter an alpha wave state. I actually meditate every single morning and it's a really important part of my day. More recently, I've been trying something different. I recently started using an app called Alpha Beats and have been working with this company to spread their message because I think this product has a lot, a lot of potential. It's an app that helps you train your brain for an alpha wave state using your own music. So let me explain a bit of the science. Our breath pace and our heart rate are strongly linked to the electrical activity in our brain. So slower breathing and a slower heart rate are more likely to bring us into an alpha wave state. And this is really the principle behind the app. This app measures your breathing. You put your phone on your belly and you can also connect your wearable. If you have an Apple Watch or another wearable that measures your heart rate, you can also sync that up. And it uses this biofeedback to guide your breathing. And it does this by adjusting your music. So when it senses that you are breathing slowly and deeply relaxed and entering an alpha wave state, it will actually increase the richness of the music and it will start to sound really expansive and beautiful and you're almost rewarded for relaxing. When it senses that you start to tense up and breathe more quickly, it will subtly remind you to pay attention to your breath by flattening the music and this is what that sounds like. So I've been using this for several weeks now and it's been a very interesting experience. I was on a Parisian cafe playlist kick and after only three days of listening to this playlist, I was literally dreaming in this music and I even felt like I could speak French even though I really cannot speak French. So I was surprised at how deeply it had already penetrated my subconscious. Whether or not this has radically changed my daily waking state has yet to be seen. I've only been using it for a few weeks, but I also really enjoy that this app offers a healthy alternative to relax, especially in the evenings. This really brings me to the second point I wanted to make in this video, which is the importance of approaching your habit and your routine like an architect and really thinking about 
when am I going to do certain activities? What do I need to do those activities? And how can I make it easy and effortless? So with Alpha Beats, you are supposed to listen to 10 minutes a day or three songs a day. And that sounds innocent enough, but if you actually think about it, you need to be relaxed and lying down and wearing your headphones. There's not a lot of moments in your day where this is possible. Most of us are running around. So you really have to carve out that moment in order for it to actually happen. And I noticed that for me, the two best moments in my day were either after I did Pilates when I already had my mat out and I had my headphones in, I could just lay down, listen to three songs and effortlessly relax. Another moment that worked really well for me was after dinner when I was maybe a bit tired in my postprandial stupor and I would maybe be more susceptible to less positive forms of relaxation like scrolling through the internet or watching junk. And so this really became a healthy alternative to crowd out those bad habits that I'm trying to get rid of. So I really just wanted to make this point that any habit, regardless of what it is, will be a lot easier to adopt if you are consciously engineering it into your day. And it doesn't sound very sexy, but it's the reality of how our lives work. And if you need some extra inspiration, I highly recommend reading the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. I've mentioned this book so many times and I recently reread it. It's just such a gem and it's full of a lot of practical advice and it can really change your life if you let it. So it's a bit off topic, but as I always say, we might learn that something is really healthy for us, but unless we're consistently doing it, we're not going to reap those health benefits. So I'm a big fan of actually consciously building a healthy routine that we can stick to for the long term. Anyways, back to music. I'm quite new to using music in a meditative and mindful way. I'm curious if you already do this, if you use certain apps, if you are just listening to different playlists, please share down below any tips you have for using music to relax relax and any playlists that might specifically help you relax. I'm really curious to explore this further. Also, if you want to try Alpha Beats, I'll have a link down below. Please share any experiences on that as well. I'm now connected with the team and the CEO, so I can literally directly give them your feedback and they will implement it, which is super cool. And if you enjoy this type of science-based content, you can follow on Instagram at science.of.selfcare. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys.